Well, hello. Hello, hello. Hey, hello, hello. This is Mr. And Miss. And this is the sofa. Pillow talk. And I do apologize for missing last Wednesday, guys. We were out of town. And I was getting my treatment. Uh, if you don't know anybody with multiple sclerosis, um, look that disease up and uh, find out a lot about it. Because if you happen to find someone or know someone, they may just need some help. Um, but I got my help partner. <laughs> yes, and we have talked about uh, one of our topics was uh, dating with MS, living with MS. And yeah. You should go check that out. It's one of our previous topics. So, guys, our topic is balance. And not to be so loud, but balance. Let it stick out for you. Balance. Balance in a relationship. So, <laughs> sweetheart, balance. Yes. Can you look up the definition of balance for me, please? I mean, balance is mm -hmm. like, I'm not even looking it up. Just something of equal weight. Something, uh, no matter what the value is, uh, a pound of feathers weighs the same as a pound of rocks. Yeah. Just One bag may be balanced. bigger than, it's is, is balance. Yeah. So, we were talking today, and we, if you haven't watched the um, series called Lucifer, it is a pretty cool, uh, you got Netflix, it's a pretty cool uh, um, series, and it's about to end, uh, this is the last season. And it's funny that uh, the topic we were talking about, choosing, they kind of hit on it a little bit about balancing the relationship, um, partners. Pretty much not really taking turns, but being supportive of each other, even if it's at different times. Yeah, the ideal, their um, their dreams, because we we get so we've gotten so wrapped up in this society um, definition of what a relationship is, and so what it shouldn't be. You think about like the head of the house, like the man, right? Um, Yes, balance is being liberal. Yes. Um, it's like you got the man, he goes and he's so-called working, supposedly, and he comes home and, you know, the woman should shut up and mind her own business to a degree as how society kind of places it. And, um, or man's the house, do, doing all the house duties and all this stuff, and the man just kicks his feet up and... Drink a beer, watch a game, go out and play while the woman has no break in so many ways. Um, can't take a risk, can't take a time out or may come to or how just like for an example, she comes to me and say, baby, you know, you're doing all this. Um, is it possible that I can start going to school? Right. Can I go to school? And. A lot of what society places on women, where the man looks at Why that. Why do you want to go to school? Yeah. What's the point? You like, know? At this point, it would, if it were an unhealthy relationship, it would, well, you finna mess up the balance of things. How you gonna do that and go to school and work and take care of the kids? Yeah. It would, it would be like throwing it off balance. But in a healthy relationship, it is possible to have that balance. Like you have seen so many um, stories where um, the one we actually did a um, podcast about what was that where the the woman had Tabitha uh, Brown yeah Tabitha Brown was able to retire her husband um, and Wendy Williams said like some kind of made some kind of a so folks were comment. going off on her or, or some making were positive some, about were some were positive and some were negative uh, responses about her and her husband saying retiring her husband and. But for them, that was balance. They, she basically stated, he, he did all of this to, his, to allow me to get to where I needed to be. In and order so, for him to be in a place where he wanted to be. Yes. Pretty and, much like they made a deal. Yeah. And if you know, if you really thought about it, if more people sat down and looked at their relationship like this, instead of trying to figure out who was going to be doing more, and yeah, who was right. going to be doing less and who was going to be um what can I do to make my my, my 
partner's job easy, but let, let's weigh it out. Versus, well, I do more than you. You don't. Yeah, do I was enough, that's or, what I was going to get to. It's like, um, who's going to get the points? And I think a lot of men are in a position of how society places them where I need the more points than she does. Like, I need to be out there and I need to be seen as I'm doing this. It's, it's, it's me because, you know, I'm head. But I personally don't see it like that. I. Uh, but uh, a man is also measured by the by his family, you know, a lot of times. If his family's doing good, then that means he's done well by himself, you know, or by his family to, you know, make sure that family is balanced. Everything's going well and everybody's happy. But it doesn't mean that. He's more or less of a man for not but doing th- No, I'm saying, even if that's the case, because somebody's on the outside looking in, but it don't mean that that balance is still not there, that I'm not taking care of the house while you out working. They won't know that unless I just come and say, uh, oh, yeah, you know, she doing a 60-hour work week, every week, while... I'm at home, university, you know, until I get up my degree. So nobody won't know that unless or, you t- or kind of like our balance. Yeah, you know, you. I'm, I'm, I go to a brick and mortar nine to five, and yeah. you take care of home. Yeah, that's our balance that works for us for right now. And so what for me? Uh, a lot of folks may look at it as in being, uh, I'm being taken care of. That's not necessarily true. No, I'm spoiled. <laughs> He's 100% man of the house side. You know. So we have to, uh, was Oprah and Stedman balanced? Um, it was balanced for them. It was balanced for you. Yeah, it was it balanced for, for them. them whatever. Again, balance for every individual is different. You have Our to do balance just yeah. may not be your balance. Because some and people I be think... like, oh, he don't work? No, but that's okay. But the thing he puts about in work, the though. thing about that is, I do a form of work. Yeah, he puts in work. Maybe not the going in and clocking in to someone and working for someone. I we have our own business, and I put in work there on top of doing work at home. So I am doing some form of work, but um, brick and mortar wise. She clocks in on an actual clock. Well, actually, I work for her, so I'm clocking in on, I'm clocking <laughs> in on her both. clock. <laughs> yeah, you clock in on my time, and then I go clock in on somebody else's time. You know? So, but, no, it's, um, so going back to that, you have to look at, you really have to be able to look in on what Oprah and Stedman's um, agreement was. They have some form of agreement. Now, Between we, the two of them and we and may not like it. Nobody else. We may not understand it, but it works for them. It's work. It has always worked for them. Um, you can even probably go as far as looking at uh, the the agreement that Will and Jada has now. That that is an agreement. That is a balance that they have now. Now to get to where they are now, they had to go through some things. What's the question? Uh, so who files head of house on taxes? That doesn't matter. It why? really, do, and again, why does that, why, why do we feel the need to if establish? We, we file what's best for the home, like. Yeah, so why, why is it, why does it really he matter? You can't file head of household if you don't have an actual nine to five job where he has to file for taxes. So I don't then file in that taxes. case he wouldn't file taxes. I don't file so taxes. So that wouldn't apply to our balance. So we're not gonna speak negatively on that. So I, I, I it, get, and that doesn't define just because somebody filed head of household on their taxes, that doesn't make them the head of household in the actual household. Will and Jade all messed up and they That may be true, but they, they working on it. The thing about it is everybody it's just like I have a disability that's known because I went to the doctor and got diagnosed for my disability. But that doesn't stop that him does, from being a man. Yes, and that doesn't mean that everyone else doesn't have. It's something that I've learned that everybody has a disability. You just don't know what it is right now because, one, a lot of people 
especially men, don't go and get checked on a lot of what's going on with them health-wise. Black folks, especially, don't go get checked a lot. And, you know, oh, not, not as often as, not often as they should. Right. But again, I get um, Social Security disability. I don't have to file for taxes. So, um, oh. Hello, hey, how, how are you? Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you. Appreciate it. No problem. I have a boyfriend too. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Awesome. You uh, you have a question? No, I just wanted to say hi. Well, thank you. Well, that's cool. You, you, hey, come on anytime. Uh, Thank you. She made them. Actually, actually, have a pen and I need to. Oh, cool. Can you show us? Oh, wow. Cool. Uh, Oh, look at you. It's beautiful. They look like peppermints. (laughs) <laughs> well, we thank you for coming on and we appreciate the comment. No problem. All right. Talk to you later. I am you, by the way. Okay. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you. Uh-huh. All right. Well, daughter, how you, I don't know. how you, how you, uh, you <laughs> know. Don't know the uh the button here. Do you have a um a exit button? Yeah. Okay. Oh, All right, goes. cool. <laughs> that was awesome. Um but um you really have to what's the conversation about? The conversation balance. is about balance. It's balance and relationships. We was watching a series and the balance and the relationship, we tend to, and we are not doing this to say that we're better than anybody. Oh. But what we find when we look at a lot of, um, me personally, definitely, before I even um, met her, I found, like with my kids, they were following these couples on um, YouTube. And a lot of couples, at during that time, they were a lot of, prank couples, you know, trying to get the views and, and entertain and not saying anything is wrong with that, but they were not really displaying any form of relationship and how a relationship function. And so we're trying to promote healthy relationships. And for this season of uh, Pillow Talk, which is our second season, we have a podcast uh, we're trying to change the narrative on showing, especially in the black community, that there is a such thing as having healthy relationships. We're constantly talking to um, either singles or couples where it's just... They want or desire that relationship, yeah, but quite can't quite find someone who's on the same level you're on or someone who wants the same balance that you desire in a relationship. And we settle too much. Yeah. We settle for a individual that regardless of how good they look, how much money they're making, just could care less about who we are worth wise. Right. And we don't want to leave that relationship, let alone if it's a marriage and we got kids involved. Um, it was a thing where we did a live on um, Facebook this past Wednesday about... Um, the um, habits, the what you call it, habits, generational Gener- habits and generational habits and curses, and trying to break them. And um, we look back at our parents, and our parents, a lot of our parents did not show us a some state. people's parents. Yeah, that's and I'm not saying everybody, but 
Um, they didn't show us a balanced relationship. They didn't show us any form of healthy relationships. And so we find ourselves doing the same thing. And if we're adults, we can't go back and blame our parents to a degree because we got to think about what they were, how they were raised. And I had to do the same thing with my folks and how my people were raised. I'm 42 years old and oh, um, October, I'm going to keep up with my, that's why I didn't, no, oh, mm. <laughs> okay. All right. no more questions. Okay. Oh, crap, I can get back to the... Okay, there you go. So, just trying to find a balance. And... It's... Some of the, so, we, I'm, I'm going to go through some ways to find balance in the relationship. Okay. Um, and they're pretty much going to be generalized. It's just pretty much the same thing that we always talk about. Communication. Yeah. Just making sure we communicate what both parties want in the relationship. Make sure that both parties are um, communicating what's we find important in the relationship mm -hmm. and making sure we go for it and make it work between, you know, the two of us and what we feel is going to work best for our situation. Because again, balance can look different no matter how or where or where we are in, you know, any point in the relationship. Yeah, if you can't communicate And that balance can be thrown off or changed at any time. So communicating. Yeah. If I can't communicate with her, I don't feel we have a relationship. Right. I mean, and that must be it. So if we come to an issue where we are imbalanced, we just talk about it. Talk about it. Make no sure arguing, that we come no up fussing. with a and that brings fair up. fight compromise. Yeah, um, a lot of folks say that if you're not, if you don't have an argument, then that's not a relationship. Oh, we, we do healthy arguments. Ooh. I ain't finna do this yelling. You ain't finna be calling me out my name. Nope. Nope. That's that's unnecessary. That's nope. that makes a conversation unbalanced yeah. because now we're just talking, 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 and nobody can actually hear or make sense of what's being said. So joint or separate bank accounts. Um at the As moment of right now we're at, separate. We have separate bank accounts, but, but we have we put access, our money together though. We have we have access to each, each other's money. bank accounts. It's not like uh just because they're separate she knows what's in mine. I know what's in hers. And again, we communicate. If I have the money, I have the money. If I don't, I don't. Yeah, it's you know, I would not. Just let him know that. It's not a. Uh, TikTok is on it with these questions tonight. Yeah, I like and it. I like that. Yeah. What's the next one? Um, it's communicating instead of complaining. Again, the communication is like the biggest thing in order for you to create healthy balance. Yeah. Um, if we can't figure it out amongst ourselves a healthy balance, then of course we add in a third party. Like yeah. you know, with our fair fight solution and uh Did you just really skip over that? No, it's the same thing. Communication uh -uh, the and one compromise. To Two ways of looking at control control and relationship. <laughs> I mean, because I don't think there should this be is, no such thing as So control that's why I was gonna say that. I think uh I control in a relationship that's like an emphasis. because I really don't wanna reference directly it's, from the website. Yeah. Disclaimer I'm reading from a website randomly that I Google. And it says two ways of looking at communi at control and I don't think control really I mean control okay, maybe really it could control it, maybe it could contribute it, that. But control, in my opinion I don't think it, like it's it. not balanced. If you're coming in a relationship looking for who's gonna have more control than the other person that's that's no well, balance. Since is, you brought it up, we're gonna read it. Uh -huh. It says control in a relationship can have a positive and a negative aspect to it. Controlling, trying to control your partner and your partner's relationship may result in suppressed tension mm -hmm. that may have a damaging outburst. You may have, you may take control of situations and determine your role whenever or wherever it's needed. But if it's going, it goes on to limit your partner's freedom and individuality. It may become a problem. So, like I say. You know, why the separate bank accounts? Because that's our choice at the time. Um, in the future, we do plan on doing joint bank accounts. And we if, do have a joint account. Yeah, we that do we have a joint. Put our money in. Yeah, but then we also have our separate. So, yeah, accounts. we do have an actual. We do have a. We joint. definitely don't have a financial divide. I mean, it's mm -hmm. it works for us. You know, like we just said, it is not because we're hiding any. Thing. Definitely she not. has all my she she knows where my card at. Uh, she yeah. knows my password. But I, I definitely wouldn't disrespect his 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 see, privacy it, though. It would be a matter of you know uh, making sure that we hey, communicate that, how you doing? That, that openness. Uh, all right, how about yourself? What's up? What's up? 
Yeah. Well, just basically. We are actually recording for our podcast. Oh, he wants us to uh, accept the invitation. Oh, no. Adding somebody else in. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> so you sit up here using us, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody says, "How do we make decisions if we're divided? We aren't divided. We're not divided. That's the thing, y'all. Y'all are. We still communicate about the division. So basically, you're saying if we have split accounts, then we're divided. That's that's we just stated. We do have one joint account where we put money in, which actually does pay bills, but we have personal accounts as well because still, her money is." Her money. Yeah. And my money is mine. But even with that being said, if she asks me, hey, can I have a look in your account? My phone, she can have it. She don't even have to ask me. She can go in it. It's the it's the it's vice versa. And that communication and that that openness that we have, we don't really have the need to have multiple joint accounts. Now, have we Talked about getting another joint account. Yeah, but it's a spending decision or a purchase. Well, what do you what do you mean? Sue me. Eight one eight. No, a spending um decision is a um or so are you asking when it comes down to spending money? Like his money is his money, my money is my money. So long as the bills are paid, yeah. Neither one of us have an issue. And and again, that goes like we take care of business at home first, and then we go from there. That's I'm, for the balance. But I'm not going to go and buy a whole new car and if I can't afford the note by myself yes. and then expect him to pay the car note or anything And that's like something that. we talk about. <laughs> that, that's, that, that's that communication. Now, we can sit and say, yes, we have those joint accounts, and that's Does our money is our money. open equals to no privacy at all? No, we still no. have our own privacy. No. I feel like I do. She, if I don't want him on my phone, I tell him, you know, I keep my phone to myself. I mean, that's simple as that. And me, personally, I'm just open. I'm just wise. And she, it just, it's just a difference. But I'm, I don't, not, but I'm not the kind of person to go through his phone either. And that's, I don't look at just, that as being, as her being sneaky or anything. Um, because I also feel like this. And again, it goes with that balance. And a lot of people... Get into relationships. So, again, on this website, maintain and respect each other's individuality. He's an individual. Yeah. His money is his money. He do what he want with it. I, my money is my money. I do what I want with it. She likes After certain things. taking care of the bills of the home. As long as I got a place to stay, I, ain't, I shouldn't have to come home and question whether or not he paid the light bill or not, if that's his responsibility to make sure the light bill is paid. Especially if I've contributed my portion of the money for the light bill, we shouldn't have to fight about that. And you know what? Financial balance is really a, a big, big issue yeah. with relationships. Okay. And I think it's something you should definitely communicate early on. Like if if you not he's a spender or he he's never been a saver. I'm a saver. And I'm learning a lot from that. Uh so this that was before I became her partner that I had that issue. But I'm learning from her about that. And I tell a lot of folks this is the most that I've actually been able to save with her. So I'm learning. That means I've opened up to the idea of who she is. Right. And also there are some things that I brought to the table that she has what probably not thought of or not doing. Mm-hmm. And she's like, oh, okay. And But what happens, that's c- that communication. That thing that you do... If I don't know something, I, I stop and ask questions. Hey, so if you were going to do this, what would it take to get to that point for you? Mm-hmm. And then we would work to decide, okay, is this going to work best for us together or not? Is it going to cause us a problem or are we going to be balanced on it? Are we going to make a good compromise and go from there? It says, do y'all have friends that are not married? Yes. yes a lot My of best them. friend is not married. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're both divorced, so... We do have unmarried friends, and we have married friends. Mm-hmm. We have friends that we share together, and we have friends that are mm-hmm. separate. 
But we do have we and we make balance for that. He go hang out with his guys without me, and he I go hang out with my girls without him. And we have friends that we hang out with together. And mm-hmm. some of those same friends that we hang out with separately, we also hang out with those friends with together. Mm-hmm. And it's still communication. Hey, I'm going out with so-and-so. You know, he not finna rag me about, well, where you went with so-and-so and and how much money you spent. It's it's communication, trust. You know, it's it's a balance that works for us. And it says, I carry a heavy load in the house. The car, the insurance, and she pulls the lightweight balance. Yes. That's a good example. But that's that balance for you guys. And if it works for you guys, then go for it. Go for it. Be, we have to understand that, and even though that we're expressing what our balance is, it just may not work for you. Right. And we're not telling everyone to go out and say, oh, you got to do what our balance is. That's what makes a healthy relationship. according to society, and like somebody was asking us about filing head of household, of course, I mean, we, we can go ahead and say and be transparent. I file head of household, that's only because I got a 9 to 5 job mm-hmm. where I have to file for taxes. Otherwise... Social Security I mean, to say I don't have to file for taxes. Got no taxes coming out of my Social Security. We have that issue. I mean, of balance or to go forward. So, it's just and for those that don't know, if you follow my our page, I am um, I have multiple sclerosis. I am disabled. So, but if he hadn't told you that, you wouldn't know that because he works hard. I mean, I refuse to allow while my while I'm illness. at work. I don't have to worry about the house. Not saying that I don't come home and clean up or cook if he asks me to cook or say he ain't feeling well when I get off work. I come home and I do my due diligence or wifey duties (laughs) 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 if need be, you know. But most of the time he takes care of that for me. And then he spoils me like I cook a hot meal every day. So we don't have any issues with that either. I, I think that's like one of those taboo conversations about the uh when you just the wifey duties. Oh, but, man, which we yeah. already <laughs> had a conversation about. We're gonna about make a it. whole conversation about yeah, wife effort. wife and husband <laughs> duties versus girlfriend duties and yeah. you know I think that's what the podcast <laughs> or doing was too supposed much to, outside of That's what the podcast was supposed yeah. to be. But we'll do that next much. Saturday. <laughs> we'll do that next Saturday. With the quotation marks. Yeah. Why the quotation marks? God, because, you got to. Because sometimes when you're not married and you're dating with the intent of marrying, people feel like you give or oh, say say we weren't married and we um living together. People find that to be taboo or oh you giving him wifey privileges and you just the girlfriend right now. Or you know, and uh, that's something that's commonly said a lot of times and society looks down on it. It's not really something you should do. Why give wife duties to somebody who's only boyfriend or girlfriend status? That's why that air quotes were added in. It's going to be a lot of air quotes. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Per se. But yeah, so balance. Making sure we communicate what we do or don't want done in the relationship. Compromising, safe compromising, healthy compromising, mm-hmm. without arguing, um, doing what's best for the relationship as a whole. Um, and it's not going to harm both parties involved or other parties involved because there might be kids involved, you know. So you have to take everything into account and balance. So we'll answer that question. We're finna end the podcast, but we're gonna keep the uh, uh, said TikTok. The milk without <laughs> purchasing. We're gonna need TikTok. So on. it's taking out the trash only a man show. Nah. Well, um, guys. Oh, yes, podcast. Uh, podcasters, we did not forget about you. Yeah. We are um <laughs> doing three things at one, one time. time. Yes. So um, we're gonna end the podcast today, and we will see you guys uh, next Wednesday. And, and if you're following us on IG or TikTok, it's Mr. and Miss Take Over the World. Um, don't forget to use that link to ask any questions. If you have any questions, um, what's the next topic? What do y'all want to hear us talk about next? We are here. We're open book for you guys. And I've also restarted the YouTube channel. It is called The Sofa Real Talk. So we will catch you guys next Wednesday. Don't be shame. Check us out. Bye. Bye.